Today, we're diving into one of the most intriguing and often misunderstood topics in biblical prophecy, the Battle of Armageddon. What does the Bible really say about this final epic confrontation? Is it a literal battle, a symbolic event, or something more? In this video, we'll explore the meaning of Armageddon, its place in end times prophecy, and what it signifies for the future of humanity. Whether you're curious about Revelation's mysteries or seeking clarity on this powerful prophecy, you're in the right place. Stay tuned and let's unravel the truth together. The word Armageddon is used generically today to refer to any type of catastrophic conflict, especially if it's seen as likely to result in widespread destruction or the annihilation of human life. In the Bible, Armageddon refers to a climactic future battle between God and the forces of evil, as recorded in the book of Revelation. The word ultimately comes from the Hebrew word Har Magadon, which means Mount Megiddo, the predicted location of the battle. Revelation 16, 12 to 16 is the record of what will happen toward the end of the tribulation, when an angel pours out the sixth bowl judgment on the earth. The word Armageddon makes its only appearance in the Bible in this passage. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Then I saw three impure spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are demonic spirits that perform signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. Then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The exact location of Armageddon is unclear because there is no mountain called Megiddo. However, since Har can also mean hill, the most likely location is the hill country surrounding the plain of Megiddo, some 60 miles north of Jerusalem. Throughout history, armies have fought countless battles in that region. Egyptians, Assyrians, Greeks, Romans and Crusaders fought in Megiddo as well as the armies of Napoleon. Megiddo was the site of battles during World War I and the Arab-Israeli War of 1948. Weintraub, P. Rewriting Tell Megiddo's Violent History, Discover, Sept 30, 2015. In the future, the plain of Megiddo and the nearby plain of Esdrilon will also be the focal point for the Battle of Armageddon. The plain of Megiddo, or Armageddon, was famous for two great victories in Israel's history. 1. Barak's victory over the Canaanites, Judges 4.15, and 2. Gideon's victory over the Midianites, Judges 7. Armageddon was also the site of two great tragedies. 1. The death of Saul and his sons, 3 Samuel chapter 31, 8, and 2. The death of King Josiah, 2 Kings chapter 23, 29 to 30, Buddha Chronicles 35, 22. According to the futurist interpretation of Revelation, which is our view, the Battle of Armageddon will be a real battle in the future, near the end of the tribulation. Demonic influences will cause the kings of the earth to gather their armies for an all-out assault on Jerusalem. The Antichrist will be leading the charge. Revelation 16, 13-16. Jesus Christ will return to earth with the armies of heaven, Matthew 25, 31, Revelation 19, 14. His feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, Zechariah 14, 4. He will defeat the forces of evil, Revelation 19, 15 to 16. He will cast the Antichrist and the false prophet into the lake of fire, Revelation 19, 20. He will bind Satan and he will set up his kingdom on earth for 1,000 years. Revelation 20, 1-6 At Armageddon, the Lord Jesus Christ treads the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. Revelation 16, 19 And all things will be made right. The Battle of Armageddon reminds us of the ultimate confrontation between good and evil, a moment prophesied to shape the destiny of all creation. While the imagery is intense and the stakes are cosmic, it also carries a message of hope that justice will prevail and light will overcome darkness. 
If you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who might be curious about this profound topic. Let's keep the conversation going. What are your thoughts on the significance of Armageddon? Drop your insights in the comments below. And if you're interested in more videos that delve into biblical prophecies, theological mysteries, or the deeper meanings behind ancient texts, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.